local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back everyone. We're taking a look at our weather alerts. So we do still have that winter weather advisory for all of North Dakota here. This is continuing until tomorrow and depends on where you are going to be lifted a little bit sooner for the west and going to stick along, stick around a little bit longer as you head into the east. But our visibilities right now, we do have quite a bit of reduced visibilities. Bismarck's down to three miles, Harvey's down to two, Linton's down to 0.8. So once again, just make sure that you're taking it nice and slow, got the headlights on. Here's a look at our road conditions map. So we do have quite a bit of no travel advised areas. I-94, pretty much from Jamestown into Dickinson, no travel advised. We've got no travel advised up on 83 from Minot to Bismarck, up over towards Williston as well. Got that no travel advised. Otherwise, got a lot of scattered, compacted ice, compacted snow. So those roads are not very great, they're slippery. Make sure you're leaving extra distance in between you and the other cars and just taking it slow and being careful. Here's a look at our DOT camera network. I'll go ahead and just step off here. Can't see a whole lot, but you can see that the roads are a bit snow covered and probably ice covered as well. Here's a look at our satellite in radar. So we do still have that snow falling. As you can see, it's pretty much calmed down off to the west, but we still have blowing snow here, which is causing reduced visibility. So. We're still seeing that snow move through and I'll go ahead and zoom in so we can see just a little bit better. Still got some heavier bands of snow along I-94 over near Linton and as we take a look up north as well still got some snow falling there. If you guys have any snow reports please feel free to send them our way and if we go ahead and roll precision cast as we continue throughout the night here we're going to continue to see that snow until the early morning hours, then it's gonna continue to move out. Still seeing it though down to the south, south central areas. And then around 3 a.m., gonna be mostly out of our area and mostly to the east, southeast there. And then as we wake up on Saturday, we're gonna be having some dry skies. And Saturday, those skies should start to clear up as a high pressure system does start to move its way in on Saturday. And Sunday looks to be pretty dry as well. Could see just a little bit of flurries move through throughout the day there. Here's a look at our additional potential snow here. So estimated so far, Minot seen two and a half inches, Bismarck seen two inches. Now could see about another inch for Bismarck, a little bit more off to the east here. So of course, like I said, we're still waiting for that snow to stop falling. And if you have any snow reports, feel free to send them our way. And here's a look at our winds. So winds are still very strong at the moment. We're sitting anywhere from 10 to let's go 20, 30 miles. Let's go 30 miles an hour here out of the Northwest. And if we take a look at our wind gusts, we're still gusting up to about 45 miles an hour. So lots of blowing snow out there. And if we take a look at our wind gust forecast, those winds aren't really gonna be calming down a whole lot. 2 a.m. we're still seeing those 40, 45, 30, 35 mile an hour wind gusts. They're gonna continue into Saturday. They'll calm down a little bit, but still gonna be pretty windy to start the day out on Saturday. And then as we head into Saturday night, they will start to calm down completely for the most part. If we take a look at your Dickinson five day forecast, we're gonna be in the 30s for the rest of the week and sunshine to Tuesday, Wednesday, Wilson's five day forecast. Do have a lot more sunshine in the forecast than we did well, excuse me, my not seven day forecast here gonna be windy tomorrow and then we get a little break on Sunday, then windy and breezy conditions return once again, Bismarck seven day forecast. Looking pretty dry, but hey, we're, we're warming up to 40 by Thursday and I'm gonna take that as my, my at light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Carolyn. And coming up next, an officer 